Precept 120, a pretty solid budget full suspension mountain bike that retails right now for about $1,100. Being an entry-level full suspension bike, you could definitely push the Kona more than you could a hardtail. However, just because it makes things easier, doesn't mean it should necessarily be your first option when buying a new bike. For now, let's go over the specs of the Kona to see if this bike is really for you. The Kona comes with Shimano Altis hydraulic brakes and a Shimano Altis shifter. The hydraulic brakes are complemented by a 180mm rotor in the front and a 160mm in the back. Moving on to the drivetrain, we see a Shimano 9-speed cassette paired with a Shimano Deore derailleur. Moving up the bike, we see Shimano cranks, and what was left of a 3x. We'll get back to that later. The suspension fork is a 120mm RockShox FS30. The rear shock is a 120mm Fastrax R custom tuned. The Kona Precept 120 is of course a 27.5 inch mountain bike. The rims are WTB SX25 and the tires are Max's Ardennes. Now here are a few things that I did to enhance the capabilities of my Kona Precept. The first thing I did was replace the pedals with some Race Face Chester ripoffs. The next thing I did was take the whole front 3x off including the derailleur and the chain rings and replaced it with one 30 tooth chain ring. Next, I attached a water bottle cage along with a pump holder to the bike. Next, I took out the factory seat post and replaced it with a Crank Brothers Highline dropper post, which we reviewed in another video. After that, some new grips were in order and of course, I took off all the reflectors. Now, let's see how this thing can ride. The Kona can handle drops and jumps just fine and of course you could whip it. I really don't know what else you can expect from a bike. So, my overall thoughts on the bike is, yeah, it's pretty good, but beyond buying the bike, you're gonna have to pour a couple hundred dollars into it to make it up to par. So, with that final thought, I'll see you guys next time.